There's a new tool that's on the way for Chromebooks and it's live in the Canary channel if you're risky enough to go there. And it does some pretty cool stuff that we've been tracking and waiting for for months at this point. It's part of the screen capture tool, but it's also a new tool called Screencast that enables you to create videos and share your screen and actually use your front facing camera and all kinds of fun stuff. And we've got it up and running again in the Canary channel and we wanna show it to you. But before we get into that, today's video is brought to you by Penoval. Penoval makes fantastic USI pens for Chromebooks, styluses for iPads and Surface devices, and they're all well-built, stylish, and they come with a reasonable price tag too. Their latest model, the USI 702 Chromebook stylus, comes with some really sweet features like USB-C charging, a unique eraser on the end, and a more solid pen tip that really enhances palm rejection. In our time with this pen, it's worked on every single Chromebook we've tried, and the eraser works just as you'd expect in all sorts of apps with no setup needed whatsoever. Whatsoever. And in addition, they also have the overall most popular stylus on Amazon as well, the Penoval USI 150 that generally goes for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested in picking up one of Penoval's great pens, check out the link in the description to find out more. Okay, so to get this whole thing rolling, first, like always, we're gonna have to turn on some flags. And you're gonna need to be in the Canary channel, like I said in the open here. And so we caution against that for people that aren't comfortable with it. There's a lot of steps you need to go through to get to Canary. And if you're not comfortable with that or you're not really sure what that is, it's probably best that you just wait till this shows up in a more stable build at some point in the future. But if you want to jump to the Canary channel, uh, if you want to do that, we'll put a link in the description on how to go about doing that. We've got a post on the website about it. Uh, once you're in the Canary channel and you're successfully here, you're going to turn on a couple flags. Same place, Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and this new window will open up and you can see I've already got these enabled. So uh, there are three right here, enable selfie camera and screen capture, enable projector and enable projector annotator. I'll leave that here for just a second. So maybe you can screen grab that. I'll write those down real quick, but basically go up to the top um, and you could search those, find those exactly, turn those flags on. Again, you're going to be in the Canary channel. And once you've reset your Chromebook from this point, uh, you'll have some new options, uh, both for your screen recorder, the built-in screen recorder that we've had for months and months at this point. But then you're also going to have this new app down here. So I'm going to open up right here. You see Screencast. And so obviously you can search for it too. So Screencast is right there. And when I open it up, right now I can't do a new recording because I'm recording my screen already. And again, these are two parts of the same whole, really. Like the Screencast app is really more meant for creating something that you're going to share to someone else that you can annotate the screen and you can, uh, it's going to upload it automatically. It's a, it's a thing that's meant to share some sort of instruction versus the screen recorder might be meant to just take a quick note or something like that. So they're, uh, the, you know, Google might choose to just kind of combine these at one point. Uh, I'm not really sure, but you'll see here in a minute when we start our new recording in the uh, screencast feature, it looks just like the screen recorder feature. And so um, it's it's nothing uh, different there. So um, one other thing you'll see uh, in the screen recorder is I can move my little uh, uh, head around in all four corners and I can shrink this down as well. Um, again, depending on how straight up you need to be here as far as like, you know, I, I need you to see me so that you can see me talking to you about whatever's on screen. You can make this larger or smaller uh, based on your preference. And so there's a couple other things in here before we actually start a screen cast that, that I do want to talk about. And so uh, I'm actually going to click feature tour because the first time you open this, you're going to be met with this screen, record your screen and yourself. Um, we can go to next here, get your transcripts automatically. So uh, as it says right here, the viewers can search and navigate your video using transcripts. So you can actually go through the video just by the transcript and find your spot. Um, we'll talk about that here in just a second. And then you can collaborate and share instantly. And so uh, these recordings will get uploaded directly to uh, Google Drive. It'll make a new folder called Screencast. They're there uh, immediately. So you can see my recordings down here. I did a quick just trial earlier today. And that recording uh, at first, as soon as I got done, I couldn't look at it right away. Uh, it started uploading and as soon as it was done uploading it started processing so just like a normal video you would upload to drive or youtube it does all of those things and once it's done i have the ability to share it from here so i can click share uh, let's name this i'm just going to name this recording one uh, we'll continue this yep there it goes um, and then copy link and so this all obviously looks a lot like stuff you do in google drive we're going to keep it private we're going to share it with others 
uh, anyone with LinkedIn access, I can copy the link and boom, I can throw that link into a messaging application, into an email, whatever, and the whole screencast that I've just created with annotations that we'll show you here in just a second can all be exported and shown uh, from the cloud. So I'm not having to download something and then share it and upload it back over the email. It's, it's in Drive, shareable, just like any other file would be. One other thing you will see here on the screen are a couple of kind of get started tips. And let me mute my device here. But as you click them, it's just gonna pop up a little video that kind of explains some of what we're talking about in this video. So if you watch this video, you get this enabled and then you don't get a chance to mess with it and you go back in there. If you wanna kind of remind yourself some of these things, they have some nice quick tutorials. Again, they're gonna to refer to this thing as projector, even in the tutorials. I think that's what they were gonna call it for a little while and maybe decided against that because it's not really projecting anything. Um, I could see maybe you using this hooked to a projector possibly, but I don't know that that's exactly what this is intended for. The idea here is to be able to annotate some stuff, to have this thing that you create and then share out to other people. So maybe early on it was a, a different use case, but that's not the case here now. Okay, so we are going to stop the recording now uh, from the kind of built-in screen recorder tool and now switch over over to the screencast tool. And so as you can see, we now have a blue uh, button up here at the top. I'm gonna click that and you'll get the exact same screen recorder tool interface that you're kind of used to. So we're gonna go and just click to record full screen and we'll now begin this new recording. And animations are the same. Everything looks the same as what we were doing before. And that's again, part of this being two parts of the same whole. Um, but what's different now is you get a couple different tools and a couple extra tools uh, with the screen annotator. So specifically, like, let's go to, you know, we'll just leave it on Google. So say uh, I need to, I'm trying to convey to somebody, hey, I, I would love the Google logo to be more centered up here. And so I'm gonna create this piece of content and say, okay, uh, person A. I think what we need to do now is actually move the Google logo up. So I'm going to click my annotator tool. If I long press it, I can choose this color here. I'm going to say, okay, what I want is you to take this logo and I want you to move it up. And I'd rather be kind of in, in this vicinity, uh, not necessarily there anymore. Um, also, let's take these shortcuts and move them down to this corner here uh, and then actually make the search bar a bit wider. I think that's going to be a better overall thing uh, for us to you know, be able to see Google stuff, but I don't know. I'm just making things up. But you can kind of see on the screen, I've annotated all this stuff. So now I've not only said it, now they've not only seen the screen and seen me say these things, but now they see these annotations on the screen and they can actually make an informed move on whatever it is I was telling them to change or to adjust or to adapt uh, versus just kind of guessing at what I was saying. I've, I've drawn it out here and obviously somebody with some better skills and a pen could probably do even better than than what I did here. So with that you get a general idea of the usefulness of this tool. So I'm going to stop this recording now because the part of the really cool part of this entire thing and I'm going to let me start a, a new screen recording here real quick uh, while I'm saying that. So that you can kind of see this, this whole thing of it uploading automatically. I'm not having to upload this to Google Drive and share it. And you can actually see now it's processing just like a YouTube video would. And in just a second, once it's done, I'm actually gonna be able to get a link to share this thing. And the cool part about this is, and we're gonna do this on camera, so I'm hoping it works, is the link that I'm going to get from this, the shareable link, when I open that link up, now I'm gonna get that annotation part too. So I'm gonna see the video, I'm gonna have the kind of video player down here, but I'll see the, the annotation on the right side of the screen, hopefully. It might take it a little bit longer, so we may have to pull this up later uh, and add it kind of in post and B-roll. But the idea being, once this gets done processing and I share this thing out, People can take it, look at it, they can watch the video, watch the instruction, watch my face talking, see the annotations all over the screen, but they can actually watch and see all the language on the side and jump to the part in the video that they want to jump to based on the annotated uh, language that I used in the video. And so even if you're in a spot where you can't really hear what's going on, there's just going to be auto captions over there basically that let you get right to the part you need to see and get to the instruction or whatever part of that content that you actually need to get to. Okay, so that shows you the general usability of you know the the screen recording, the screencast options as you're actually you know recording stuff and how you can share things. But once you get done with that, honestly, the magic of this really begins. And so once it's uploaded, uh, 
up to Google Drive, you'll again, you'll see a new folder created there. Once it's uploaded and it finishes processing, uh, you can see our middle video that had quite a bit of dialogue in it and it's still processing. So I recorded a really short one just so you can kind of see what this looks like once it's finished. So I'm going to click the three dot here and uh, I'm going to rename it because it's going to force me to rename it before it lets me share it. Uh, we're just do recording three. Click that. And now I can click the share button and we'll share it with others, basically anyone who has the link. So this is a similar, again, sharing uh, dialogue that you would get with Google Docs. And I'm gonna hit copy link. And then I'm gonna actually open up a Chrome browser and show you what the recipient of the thing that you just made is going to see. So they get this whole fully laid out viewing experience here. So you get the video up here at the top. If I click full screen, obviously it goes full screen. Uh, we, we have mute uh, controls and all that kind of stuff. But what I did was just record something really simple, really straightforward, so you can see what other people will see on the web. So over here on the right, you see this transcript. And if I click and I kind of look at what I'm saying here, so we're gonna go larger here. So I'm gonna click to there and you can see. And if I click into this, it's gonna be that spot 22 seconds into the video the exact spot where I was. And so it's not only got the transcript so I can read it and follow along, I can also just click through and go to that spot in the video. So imagine a 30 minute long presentation where somebody talked about something for five minutes that you really needed to get back to. And you can just kind of go through that transcript, find the spot, click on it and watch it immediately. I mean, this is insanely useful. And granted, it's still in like beta status here, maybe almost even alpha status. I mean, we're in the Canary channel as it is. But this is really, really useful stuff already built out here. So once this comes to Chromebooks, this is going to be wildly useful for educators, for business people, for if you just need to show a family member how to do something on the web. I mean, there's all sorts of situations where this tool is going to come in really, really handy. So as you can tell, we're super excited about this. We're going to be keeping a close eye on it as it moves from you know the Canary channel down to the developer and beta channels and it gets in a position where it's going to be a lot easier for you to try out if you want to you know, give this a run. Uh, you can keep up with all that kind of stuff and all sorts of other Chromebook stuff over at chromeunbox.com at the website. But that is it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there and hit that subscribe button and be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.